The human nervous system is a complex network of receptors and motor pathways that covers your entire body, inside and out. It's the bodily system that protects you from danger and stimulates arousal. It's the system that makes your heart skip a beat when you catch eyes with that total stranger that you didn't realize you were staring at on the train. And it's the system that pulls your hand away from an exposed electricity socket that shocks you as you touch it. But how does our nervous system actually get about its daily business? How does it communicate and get the job done so quickly? Largely, this is thanks to the ever-vigilant nerve cells known as neurons. Neurons are in plentiful supply. The human brain has about 100 billion of them, and the rest of your body has its fair share too. And there are, broadly speaking, three types of neurons adapted for different tasks within the system. Sensory neurons communicate information gathered from your physical senses to your spinal cord, part of the central nervous system. Relay neurons operate within the central nervous system allowing supersonic communication within the brain and between the brain and the spinal cord. And motor neurons take a message back from the central nervous system and deliver it to your body's effectors, such as muscles or glands. In order to respond to touching a roasty toasty stove then, this is the process. The stove is hot. Your sensory receptors in your fingers trigger the message extreme heat in hand, which is carried by sensory neurons to the spinal cord. The relay neurons in the spinal cord select an appropriate response and pass that message onto the motor neurons, which whiz the instruction to pull back the hand to the effector, which in this case would be your arm muscles. This ultimately leads to the response your hand withdraws from the heat. All of this in a fraction of a second. And this is achieved by neurons that never touch. So let's take a look at the structure of a nerve cell to understand how this is possible. As with more simple cells, the nerve cell's nucleus contains your DNA. Dendrites extend from the central cell body, carrying electrical impulses from other neurons towards the cell body. The axon carries impulses away from the cell body covered by a sheath of myelin, which speeds up the journey of the electrical impulses. When an impulse reaches the axon terminal, it can't directly transfer to the dendrite of the next cell because there's a small gap between cells called a synapse. And crossing the synapse is achieved by chemicals known as neurotransmitters. As an electrical impulse travels along the axon of a transmitting neuron, it triggers the nerve ending to release neurotransmitters, which diffuse across the synapse and bind with the receptor molecules on the membrane of the next neuron. This in turn stimulates the receiving neuron to transmit the electrical impulse, and the neurotransmitter is then reabsorbed by the presynaptic neuron after the message has been transmitted. Unlike the humans that neurons operate within, neurons don't like to leave space junk. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to Psychology Unlocked, hit the subscribe button now for more about the fascinating world of psychology. If you've got any comments, I look forward to reading them in the comments below.